What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the video. Today I'm here at Jack Moon's house. And, uh, so it's been a while since I've done a video and stuff, so I'm doing this video here today. Um, it's been about two weeks. Uh, don't worry, guys, I just have like a cold or something, I think. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, I did a video on like lightning rods, like closure right now. Like, what, what I think. Go check out that video. Uh, him and I are doing a video later on, on his channel. Go check that out. Jack, what's your channel again? Um, we do stuff. Yeah, go check that out. But, um, yeah, I mean, let's get into it. So, uh, for number 10, oh, and by the way, here's things. So, I've been to six, five or six or five different theme parks. I've been to, um, Six Flags, Dollywood, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot. Those three Disney parks I just uh, named, I'm not going to count those because all those are my traits. Basically, except for like Rock and Roller Coaster or something like that. But, yeah, those aren't like crazy like the other ones. So, let's get this list started off at number 10, Tennessee Tornado. So, I rank it, I've rode about 30 roller coasters and all, and I rank it number 10. Why do I rank it number 10? Well, I would honestly rank it a little bit higher, but it's only less than like 90 seconds long. It's like there and then done. So starts off comes out of the station goes around to this like shed you hear some noises it's just like a little pre-show then you go up the lift hill go down into like a mid drop kind of thing and then you go down this tunnel and the drop go into a giant loop I'm not gonna spoil the rest of the ride you can go look at it yourself but I like it it's fun, nice air time, but you know, it's short. Coming at number nine, I would say something like, um, I'm trying to think what to pick number nine. These are some hard decisions, but I think I'm gonna go to Six Flags Over Georgia for um, my instrument. Yep. So, this ride, I thought you were about to hit me with that, uh, but, uh, yeah, this ride, it's fun, it has two inversions, two loops, uh, as of, as of this video right now, um, they're doing some kind of, like, retracking and stuff, I don't know why, but they're doing some kind of retracking and stuff. Um, so, I haven't got a ride on this since January of this year, but I want to get back to it sometime after the retracking. But as of right now, I'll put it number nine. Fun ride. It's actually pretty long, too. It goes over, like, this little water feature. It's fun. Uh, coming at number eight, I'd probably say, hmm. Um, I think I'm going to go back to Dollywood for, hmm, trying to think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, it's a hard list to make. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go, yeah, stay at Dollywood for, uh, shoot, what's the name, um, Shoot, uh, yeah, sorry guys. Uh, mystery mind. Sorry guys, but, uh, I love this ride like anything else. And it left me pumped. 
after I rode it. But that just shows you how good these other rides are. So, you come out of the station into like a small little drop into this tunnel. You hear some noises and stuff, kind of like Tennessee Tornado. Then you go up the first vertical left hill, go into a couple small dips. Then the first 90 degree drop. And this first 90 degree drop, I'm gonna say it now, y'all might not agree, is absolutely no airtime, no nothing. Boring. But then you go around a little bit more, you come to this another tunnel type thing, and that's where the fun really begins. So you got this 90 degree lift hill with a screen above you. So as you're looking up at that screen, there's like a fire effect. Something falls on you. You stop the top of the 90 degree lift hill and fire blows in your face. Then you go down this 95 degree drop. It's like a twisted 95 degree drop. Down like that. It is fun. Then you go into a barrel roll and a um, dive loop. There we go. So, yeah, just to show you how good these other rides are. All right, coming in at number seven. I'm gonna stay at Dollywood. No, I'm gonna go back to Six Flags. For another Gerslauer Eurofighter and Daredevil Dive. And yes, I love Daredevil Dive. Uh, the first time I rode it, I got a backseat ride. And man, was that fun. But, again, just to show how good these other rides are. Uh, yeah. Uh, coming in at number six, I'd probably... Stay at Six Flags for, um, I'm trying to think. Stay at Six Flags for, huh. Well, so, by the way, Blue Hawk is not going to be in this list. I've rode all the rides at Dollywood except for Dragonflyer, but that's kind of more of a family ride. And I didn't ride Blue Hawk yet. But I'm probably going to say it's Six Flags for Superman Ultimate Flight for number six. And I'm pretty sure Jackson was shocked at heck. Nah, I was uh, actually thinking of it. Mm. But let's put some honorable mentions in here. I don't have any honorable mentions, though. Well, actually, good I have, rides, not that maybe you have not been. Hang on, hang on. Put that in good rides. I'll put that after, right, right before number two. Or right before right. number one, sorry. Alright, so number six, Superman Ultimate Flight. And that door just opened and it hit that chair. That scared me for a second. Okay, so. I laid it next to Why do I put that at number six? I, I also love this ride. It's so fun to ride. Uh, I got a front row ride on it the first time I rode it. And we got so lucky because these people gave us a fast pass for it, or whatever it's called. Like, I think it's something like flash pass. Something. But these people were done for the day and gave it to us, so we got a fa or flash pass. It was fun. So, but that just shows how many other rides that are amazing. So, Number five, what coaster cracks the top five? And I think I'm going to go to Dollywood for Thunderhead. The other wooden coaster at um, Dollywood, it's a um, GCI Woody. And man, is it fun. It's a little on the rough side, but it's a really fun ride. I mean, you go like... I'm not going to spoil the ride, but I'll tell y'all, y'all need to ride it. Go to Dollywood and just ride every ride there. It, it's just filled with amazing rides. 
So, at number four. What about Batman? It's not bad. Decisions, decisions. Number four. I'm going to put in Goliath. The hypercoaster at Six Flags over Georgia. Um, so, I've rode it two times. Or two or three times, I think. I think it's two. First time I went in 2018. Or, no, I went in 2019. Like, early in, like, May or something. Of 2019. It slapped. Talking, it was amazing. But, this would be higher. I'm sorry to tell y'all. In January of this year, we went. We got a back row ride. I'm sorry, that was miserable. So, we got on the ride. We started going up the lift hill. It started to rain. I mean, there was nothing bad about that. But, then as soon as we went down the first drop, it started sleeting on our face. That hurt. And it was miserable the whole ride. Well, that's not your fault. Well, that's not the ride's fault. Exactly. The first time I rode it, I loved it. The second time, it was okay. So, that's why I'm ranking it at number four. I'd probably have it at number three, but I don't. At number three. Wild Eagle. At Dollywood. Why do I rank this number three? Well, I have two other rides that just barely cracked it. Just barely. Like by a small little sliver. I just joking. They beat it by a mile. But I love this ride to pieces. I mean it's an amazing ride. Uh I mean, I just got to tell y'all, y'all need to get to Dollywood to ride Wild Eagle. At number two, okay, y'all are probably expecting me to put Batman the Ride on this, but no, this is going to be the battle of the RMCs. So what do I put at number two? Twisted Cyclone at Six Flags Over Georgia. So they took their old Cyclone, Georgia. Georgia Cyclone, and a, in 2018, turn it to a RMC. Now, this RMC is on the short side. It packs what it needs to, and it's short layout, but again, it's short. So, honorable mentions. I think when I ride Blue Hawk, uh, it's going to crack the other person that's honorable mentions. Right? Okay, so here's Jack and Man. No, but I'm, it's my list. True. My honorable mentions. these are honorable mentions that are good rides that have been ridden and have not. You can add in the rides that you think would have cracked the list. Okay. After mine. Alright. Honorable mentions. Blue Hawk. I want to ride it, but I don't know what it's going to be like. So, it might crack the list. It'll probably be number 10 or something. I think it'll crack out. If it's a better Aero Looper than Tennessee Tornado, it'll crack out Tennessee Tornado. But, we'll just have to see. And the second honorable mention, Batman the Ride. The only reason I didn't include this in the list, this ride has been, or I love it, but compared to the other rides, it's probably number 11. But it has so many clones around the world. There's nine different clones of this ride at different Six Flags parts, and there's one outside of Six Flags, but, you know. But, other than that, that's my list of top 10 roller coasters. Jackson will add in his roller coasters that he thinks should be in the list. I don't think they should, but I think they were very close. Um, for me, Rampage is one. Mm. The only reason I think it should is because it's very unique to have it a water park. 
you don't find a lot of roller coasters at water parks. Actually, especially the part of Alabama Adventure that you're talking about, that's called there's it's technically two different parks. I know I've been. So it's there's Alabama. Dry and then there's wet rides. Yeah. That's on dry. That's side. technically in the theme park, not the water park part. Well, but I get your point. I mean, it's weird having just one coaster and riding it. It might not be the most entertaining ride. It gave but me a headache. Definitely has, it definitely has a lot of scenery around it since it's on a mountain. I enjoyed it, but I won't say it cracked the list. I now, enjoyed it, but it gave me a headache. The other one is Mindbender. I said Mindbender already. No, you you I put, said Batman to ride, and you said Blue Hawk. No, I put Mindbender on the list. I put, like, number... Back me up if I'm right. You put, I put number it, nine because I heard eight through. No, I put it on like like six or seven, I think. Okay. But whatever, y'all can back me up. But I know I put it on the list. only ride I think has an honorable mention is Rampage. I would have to agree. All right. So, y'all are probably expecting this. Are y'all ready for number one? Drum roll, please. I mean, by a long shot. I mean, not even close. Lightning rod. Yep. Y'all knew it. I told you I've rode everything in Dollywood. Lightning best, rod. Best coaster, no question. Man. That I've ridden. Yeah. Still Vengeance is probably better. Hey, I don't care what y'all say. I want to ride it. Okay. Listen here. Okay. So, lightning rod. What do I have to say about it? Um, well... Let's see. Launch lift hill. Amazing. Quad down. Amazing. Uh, let's see. Um, every part of the ride. Amazing. Fast. Amazing. Like, speed. I'm talking, it flies through that course. First drop. Amazing. <coughs> Just everything about lightning rod is amazing. And me, myself, I'm honestly glad that they're doing those upgrades because it's going to make Lightning Rod a whole better ride. Like, it was a maintenance nightmare in 2017, 18, and 19. But here we are in 2020. It's running pretty good. But when I rode in August, I noticed some rough spots. Especially at the start of that first... Or at the start of the launch. Right after that quad down. Holy crap, that's a pretty strong one. But, uh, like, at the end of that quad down, and that's really it, but that part where it goes over the road, those need some work, so that's why they're doing those upgrades, I think, but other than that, that's it, uh, y'all can go check out these rides, go check out Dollywood, they have uh, made some great rides, and Six Likes themselves, I, uh, if y'all ask me, I'd say Dollywood's a better theme park. There's not as many coasters, but would you rather have quantity or quality? Mm. Quality. Yeah, think about it. If you have a park full of Vacoma SLCs or a park full of RMCs, what would you go to? Well, and... For the scary mention of this video, since it's one day away from Halloween, we neither of us have written it, but we learned about it. The Smiler definitely gets the scary mention of this video. Um, you see, I've known about the Smiler forever. Uh, that is on my bucket list. I want to ride it. So back. It'll crack this list for sure. Guaranteed it might even crack. Number two. No. It might crack lightning rod. Ooh. We'll just have to see. Because I love Euro fighters. I have the two Euro fighters that I've wrote on this list. So. We're just going to have to see. But. What do y'all think? What's y'all's top 10? But, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, peace out. You gonna sign off? I mean, Jesus.
跟我回。Peace.